Improving nutrition on a global sense has to take into account a lot of cultural differences and you need to have people in a program that are flexible, that are experienced, that can understand and can help guide through differences in approach and getting over barriers that you never thought would be a barrier. Launch Food aims to identify new and innovative solutions to one of the world's biggest development challenges, malnutrition, and then to trial and test these solutions in the Indo-Pacific context. The focus of our trials was to allow our innovators to further refine and develop their solutions and to identify potential pathways for scale. Hi, I'm Mark from Biofilter, and our innovation is growing food with the food wall and food cube self-watering modular wicken garden beds. Our biggest achievement was when we found that we could grow tomatoes in the middle of the Pacific when we were told that it was too hot. And when we saw local inputs being used to grow healthy food, the looks on people's faces, we just knew that we'd made it. I'm Joanna Kane Pataka, the Executive Director of Smart Food. We think we can have a really big impact if we can diversify staples, but diversify it with food that fits that smart food criteria. Good for you, good for the planet, and good for the farmer. So what we found in Tanzania, where we worked with 2,000 school students in developing uh, new school menu items, by the end of it, 98% had actually wanted to continue with the foods two to three times a week in their menu. My name is Mark Peter Nataris. I'm the team leader for the Timor Leste Food Innovators Exchange, also known as TLFIX. We bring together food innovators working in restaurants, communities, guest houses, farmer groups together to innovate with local foods and to put more local foods on the plates of people living and visiting Timor Leste. Probably the biggest achievement of the project was that Mary from the island of Atauro was able to cook for the Timor Leste Prime Minister together with Mr. Robert Oliver. He's a chef from the Pacific Island Food Revolution and also one of our launch food partners. A key point of difference in the way we managed this program was recognising that trialling and testing innovations requires a flexible approach. We deliberately focused on outcomes and success right from the start of this program. This allowed our innovators to adapt and pivot based on real-time learnings. TLFIX had amazing support from the DT Global team, uh, Mel, Simona and Colette. You are food legends, thank you so much. The funding model itself is quite brilliant for us because it recognises the reality that you can't know from the start of a project where it's going to head. And we need more initiatives like this that actually roll with the reality of working in the field in developing countries. It wasn't a case of going to the launch team and saying, I need to make a change. They were actually beside us the whole way. It was like they were another research team member the DT Global team were actually instrumental in helping us with the grant setting, liaising with government organisations, and just made this whole process from a company that had zero experience achieve something in a remote part of the world that we'd never dreamt that we could actually achieve. I believe this flexible, outcomes-focused approach should be at the core of all DT Global work to ensure we continue to deliver impactful solutions for our clients and stakeholders.